Welcome back to the Clock Shop. This is Jim with J.R. Clocker on eBay. Let's see what happened at the Clock Shop this week. Let me set this shot up here because it's, uh, it's a little different than I normally do it. Uh, I usually am cutting from the back side of the plate. <clears throat> but when you're cutting, okay, I'm setting up this shot here <clears throat> because this is a little bit unusual. I'm going to pull you out a little bit. In. Um, I set up the pretty much set up the uh, the bushing to be cut for the bridge. Uh, I like to try to get this one out of the way because it's uh, it's hard to set up. Anyway, let me go back in here and see if I can get back close again. Okay. 
And I'm not doing a voiceover here because it's hard to watch it and try to explain it. <clears throat> anyway, so I have the bridge, uh, this bridge plate under the bridge. And I'm lining up. I have this pretty much lined up now. Now I just got to tighten it up. sure it doesn't move. Now, um, I'm going with a, this front bushing, I'm going to have to open the bushing up a bunch. Let me put it somewhere where you can see it. I'm using a smaller bushing. I really don't want to get into a big bushing up here. Um, <clears throat> it'll have enough of a wall to do what I want it to do, especially when I get this open correctly. And what I want to make sure is I'm so used to using uh, three and a half millimeter, and this is a two and a half millimeter. So I have to be very careful not to go any further than I need to go. Here's the, the 2.47. Down here to the one point nine seven. I'll start cutting with that. I'll make sure that this bridge is underneath there, and I make sure that I'm pushing on this one. I have to push away from the wear. Make sure that I come in at the center. This is a really important one. This is a lot of wear on this. And okay. Seven. And finish the cut. Gotta get that in there too. Right. It was almost done. Since I'll be doing the rest of the bushings on the other side, I can take this down. Because I usually, and I can put this aside because we're done there. And then the hole looks really nice. Pretty much right where I like it. Now I am going to come in here and I'm going to chafer it just a bit because I, I'm not used to coming in from that side. Brass chart on that top there. So I just want to make sure that I have it. There we go. We clean it up a little bit. All right. Ah, perfect. And let's take this, this out of the way. I want to get this one in. <clears throat> um... that I have to do so that's why I want to do this video because it's interesting it's something I don't usually do a lot of and I just want to make sure that this reaches in and does what I want it to do yes it does so with that I will go and take the bushing <clears throat> this is a time when 
nice to have three hands. And the nice way about going about doing this this way, I chose a bushing that is flat. That's really what I was going for, uh, is flat up against. Uh, it's a 1.5 millimeter um, bushing that goes with a 1.5 millimeter uh, thick so it comes out nice and even and but I will not forget and you really can't forget to do this you really I <clears throat> I just like doing it because it gives me a little bit of a better end shake and I always keep the inside I, I, I don't have to put it on this high rise like I have it but I do it anyway probably have to come in and do another chamfer because right now I am going to do um I am going to broach it out polish it and uh, let me get my brooches I'll be right back all right let me just open it up here <clears throat> actually I'm watching the film I'm not sure how much I actually got on film so I'm trying to do close-ups I keep forgetting stuff out of camera. Right, so I'm gonna open this one up a little bit. Little by little. I know this one has to be open quite a bit since there's no uh, wear one way or the other just goes straight at it. When I do hand bushings I have to tape this finger and I gotta push it like I did uh, when I hold off against the wear here. This is gonna take a bit, but I go slow. I think I have to go to a higher approach, but I mean, I can sit here and I can go <clears throat> with that. So it's uh, just under one millimeter. So in theory, put it up on the angle there. Hmm. Should have gone in there, but it didn't. So. As much as you want to say that I measured it and it should be like way down here, it's going to be way up here. Probably I have a mark on this brooch. I wouldn't be surprised if at some point in time um, uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Not quite enough yet. A couple of spins and that should be it. That should be it.
Mm -hmm. This all gets cleaned again, everything. Uh, I do want to put my polisher in there. Oop. Thought I was prepared, but I was not. Here's my polish. In theory, and maybe an, in fact, the, s the square one here, the cutter, is a brooch, and this is actually a burnisher. Uh, but they call them brooches. So, if you can handy, because most of them are going to be the, uh, pretty close to the same size. that one more time yeah that's good all right so we're going to put this aside and we're going to go after this little devil here and we're going to let me show you how we're going to kind of have to go after this one we're going to have to see what we're going to have to deal with now this plate's going to be down Okay, so it can't be down on this open because it can't get to the center. So I'll have to change that out. Let's put this back so we don't lose that. This one, this one might work, but you also have this one where you can turn it this way against the plate and then, you know, you know that will work. And then the cutter goes down. But it looks as though, and that works great for for things that you have to get in tight places. I don't see anything in particular here that you need to do it on this. But when you get into German and French and stuff, you have to like scoot around stuff. Sometimes you don't have any choice but to do it by hand. Um, but I will untie this up. Yeah, I think I got it. I like to use one that's, you know, round and not cut off because then I can, I'm more confident about the placement. But I may have to go back. So let me set this up and we'll come back.
I just had to make sure that it was all the way, it was high enough. Because it's, uh, this knife doesn't like to go down. I may have to actually broach this a little bit so we can put this cutter all the way in. So, now, to get this bushing to go in, do the high rise thing. This thing is with the, the slight bevel on this side. I can put the bushing in place. And then so that brings it all the way through. It leaves a little lip because this one's a little thicker, but I'll, I'll cut that down and I'll show you the result here in just a moment. Uh, I just want to, well, I have more bushings to do, but I have a tendency and habit to put my tools back. So then I can look at it and say, I need, I have a replacement uh, cutter coming in. My smallest one, I need, it broke. I clean up the area here and then I will I will, before I forget to do this after I broached out the hole on this one, it took the, the chamfer I put in out, and cut it out, because I had to take that much. And I like to make sure I get another one in. And I'll just leave this set up like this because when I get back from knocking this down, uh, I'll want to do a, a chamfer on that. But that is the... I guess I could do this one too. So get this cut down and I'll come back and I'll do this one. This one I fit before I cut, so the bushing was correct. Anyway, I'm gonna continue on, do this one and do the other plate while you watch. I looked at this last one real quick and uh, <clears throat> it's actually in pretty good shape. I wanted to uh, broach it a little bit. Polish it a little bit. And that's all it will need.
a little lumpy. If I continue to find it being lumpy, I'm going to... No, it's good. All right, so this side's done. And so let me uh, work on the other side. I'm gonna put a little chamfer in this one too. That should help. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Let me set up the uh, other side. change of plans I changed my mind uh, I didn't like that bushing so here I am uh, redoing that third bushing on that plate okay I uh, ended up not liking uh, this one here um, so I went and threw another through a bushing in that now let me just uh, <clears throat> camper it and uh, we'll move on to the, uh, the other plate Sometimes it's back and forth, just not sure. But when I got it in there and I really looked at it, it was slightly oval. So, like, you know what? I'm here. Let's just do it. Do the right thing. A little chamfer here and then I'll test this. Okay. <clears throat> now it's on to the next plate. Um, where I only have two bushings to do. The same two bushings I did, the third one, is, this one is good. Um, but while I'm here, Let's get busy. We'll do the this one here is worn the most, so we'll get that one done first. And then the other one isn't worn as bad, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Because we did it on the other side. <clears throat> this is the escapement. Kind of important. Okay, I wanted to bring you in here close. So you can see when I'm putting the live center in, I'm le there's a gap there that I leave, and that's, let's see if I can get it over here better. And that is just set up. That is just set up so when, uh, <clears throat> When I put my cutter down there that it, it excludes or it cuts towards and makes that oval a perfectly round uh, hole, but from the center of my live center right here. So that's what I'm trying to show you. Hopefully you understand. Um, this is what I look at. The oval is, the, the pivot is wearing, or the, the bushing is wearing in the direction of the arrow. And so what I'm trying to do is put the live center where the center originally was. And that way I can cut, and that's why I put my, in this case, I would take my thumb and I'd push against here when I'm cutting down because that way it doesn't allow this to somehow move uh, into the space. All right, so I'm gonna try to do this 
bushing from about right here or similar. Okay, I have it set up, I think, correctly. Um, so, but it is a close up, so please uh, be aware that I'm going to be pulling stuff in and out of the scene here. And then uh, while I'm changing uh, brooches, you won't be able to really see much of what I'm doing. And more or less. Now I'm going to a, it's a three and a half millimeter uh, bushing. <clears throat> and, but I am going to go lower to a smaller uh, cutter because I want to, I want to start the cut really pushing hard. I'm going to cut mainly the outside here. And as I cut and open it up, it should get me the round hole where I want it faster. Okay. That looked good. Sometimes I use too big of one to start. It, it works out fine. It's just the 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 first cut is like with if I had used this tool, the first cut it would have taken longer. And uh, now this cut is the one that usually takes me the longest, but it will go along pretty fast. I'm gonna keep my thumb there. All right, pushing, pushing against that arrow. And all right, see how much faster. went back a little four instead I usually go back three cuts I went back four now this is the the 297 cut so this would be for three millimeter um, bro uh, bushing and as you can see uh, here's my bushing flip it over I will flip it over here as soon as I get done cutting I have one cut to go to do more sound over because I keep saying here we go uh, let's go uh you know so when I do sound over I have a clear thought of what I'm going to be talking about right. and I can actually take my thumb off now it should be in the right correct place. I hope that gives you a little bit better look at uh, um, the process of cutting. I am going to put this in here, even though I don't have the, the anvil underneath. This is a This, it's this, this is a two millimeter depth, you know, high um, uh, bushing. And I'm going to pound it in. Now, normally, I pound it in on my my angle, on my my solid angle. I can't go all the way on this. I will finish putting it in after I do this bushing. And then I'll do both, finish both of them uh, with the anvil. And I, I hope you got that really close up. Okay, we're back. Uh, I uh, ground them down. Uh, I have another tool here, and this is actually a different kind of bushing tool. 
I don't use it as a bushing tool, but I do use it to chamfer when I put my bushing machine back and I forgot to do it. And uh, oh, it does a nice job. Uh, one time I will try to do a bushing with these. I find there's tools that do one thing, but they actually work better for me to do other things. And I just keep this around. Uh, sometimes I, uh, I don't know, there's other bits that come along with this. It's, this comes out like this. And uh, I'll, I'll do a whole video just on uh, this tool here. Um, uh, uh, along with another video. If you haven't seen, uh, I decided, I talked myself into doing one by hand. Uh, that's in my play. I'll put that in my playlist and, uh, you can go look at that. Um, I do want to do another, uh, for me, it's nostalgic because when I was an apprentice, I never got to use a bushing machine. And, um, so it was nice, uh, as soon as I got done, the first thing I did was I bought a, a Bergeon bushing machine, so. All right, all right, so now, um, let's put this aside for the time being. And then I'm going to uh, put this back together again. And then we're going to, uh, we are, after we put it back together, I'm gonna test for spin. All right, so why I'm doing that, because this is not a put final put together, because final put togethers have all the levers in them and that. This is just a, basically almost a goof around put together. So anyway, let me let me put this in. Uh, let's speed this up. Okay, that didn't take very long. <clears throat> it helps uh, <laughs> in the beginning. I had this turned upside down. I'm just so used to set time upset. Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> when I see them, I just had to, I had to turn it around. I got it together and I had to turn it around. Anyway, uh, this is no oil. It's been nice, nice and easy. So we're ready to go, and I am making the, if you notice here, it is turning in a clockwise direction. That's the one I really want to know because it works fine counterclockwise and not clockwise when you trouble. But yeah, this is just really nice. Um, <clears throat> we won't have any problems here. Uh, the bushings came out very, very nice. And uh, so now we'll take this apart and we will clean everything again. I will scrub down here just to make sure we get uh, any dirt that's underneath out. Um, this one has more if you notice. Anyway, um, I'm gonna put it in the cleaner and that will be, we'll start uh, the next video um, with this clean, the springs, done and cleaned and in there and then we will um, assemble and test thanks for stopping by uh, look for uh, this will be part three coming up I guess and uh, we'll see you next time thanks mm -hmm.